Hi. On September the 7th, 2014, in an article in the Daily Mail, the famous physicist Professor Stephen Hawking warns that according to his calculations, the planet we're living in is unstable and therefore might collapse. This news, unsurprisingly, sent the media world into a buzz. Dr. Joseph Licken, a theoretical physicist at the University of Chicago, confirmed Professor Hawkins' findings when he said, if you use all the physics that we know now and you do what you think is a straightforward calculation, it is bad news and it may be that the universe we live in is inherently unstable. We're sort of right on the edge where the universe can last for a long time, but eventually it should go boom. There's no principle that we know of that would put us right on the edge. Dr. Benjamin Alanat, a theoretical physicist at the University of Cambridge, further elaborates on the reason for this instability when he talks about a particular particle that exists in the universe called the Higgs boson particle. Under the simplest assumptions, the measured mass of Higgs could mean that the universe is unstable and destined to fall apart. So basically, according to numerous physicists, careful calculations and computations, we're all doomed. The Quran, which dates back 1400 years ago, substantiates the predictions and calculations of physicists such as Hawking, Lichen and Alanach. The potential of the universe collapsing and being wiped out is real. The creator of the universe is well aware of what he created. But it's not all bad news. The Quran then goes on to assure us that God prevents the universe from collapse when he writes in the Quran, God holds the heaven from falling on the earth. Furthermore, the Quran states that God prevents the universe from being wiped out. God holds the heavens and the earth lest they are wiped out. So what will the end of the world look like exactly and what part do the Higgs boson particles play in all this? In 1960, the British scientist Peter Higgs predicted the existence of tiny particles that we cannot see but that are, in fact, in us and all around us. These particles are responsible for giving objects their mass and explain why particles have the mass that they do. Without Higgs boson, you and I and everything we see around us would have no mass and therefore would not be able to exist. The other physicists at that time also agreed with Mr Higgs mm -hmm. that this particle exists as he had mm -hmm. sound calculations to prove his theory and they called these subatomic particles Higgs particles after Peter Higgs. Higgs boson is an elusive subatomic particle that we can't see but can see how it gives particles substance or mass. It's essentially what gives shape, size and mass to everything that exists. But the problem is that the Higgs particle that the LHC had found possesses a mass of approximately 126 giga electron volts. And this has made physicists rather nervous because they believe it should be 127. According to physicists such as Stephen Hawking, Joseph Lichen and Benjamin Alanach, this discrepancy could very well mean the collapse of the universe and everything in it, including you and I, as everything will become massless and they are not alone in their assertions. In fact, the Quran also swears that this will take place when the world ends, when it says, it is the day when people will be like scattered moths and the mountains shall be as loosened wool. People like moths and mountains like wool sounds like mass loss to me. But there's something else too. In chapter 81 of the Quran, a chapter where God describes in detail the events of the end of the world, there are two particular verses that are of great interest to us and what we've just learned. So verily I, God, swear by clusters you can't see, as soon as they run, they disappear. That's the English translation, but the words used in the original Arabic are more nuanced than a translation can express. Three words in particular that are used in this verse are khunas and al-jawari al-khunas. Khunas refers to something invisible and al-jawari means something that is running. Al-khunas refers to something that disappears and returns back to its original spot. So if you put the three words together, we're talking about invisible clusters that run and that disappear almost as soon as they appear. Almost as soon as they start running, they stop and disappear. So what are these clusters that the Quran is describing? than none other than the infamous and elusive Higgs boson particles, which explains why the end of the universe will come about not due to volcanic activity, meteor showers, or an asteroid hitting the Earth, as NASA claims. The universe will end due to mass loss.